good morning from Sanimals. We are headed out today. I don't know how many miles we're doing. It honestly depends on Hans and how much he can keep up with us fast girls. So we will see when we get there. Uh, yeah, headed to the Shenandoah today. Oh yes, and I get to third wheel with these two. So that'll be a really fun week for me. Um, yeah, with the two lovebirds. So looking forward to that. Yay. Thanks a lot to Lightning for aqua blazing with blue. All right, Shenandoah, here we come. I am still the only American in the group, but very excited. Also, new shoes. New shoes and he's new, <laughs> just new. All right, got our permit. We are ready for the Shenandoah. I almost said the Smokies. I am having terrible flashbacks to the Smokies. No, Shenandoah, it's gonna be better. That is it. We are about to head into the park. This is kind of cool in here, all these giant rocks. I mean, it's just basically been green tunnel this entire time. These rocks are pretty sweet. Also, yes, I got a new hat. I sent my other one home because it was too hot and I got this one back from the beginning of the trail. So hopefully it's not a bad luck hat. Stitch and I have had multiple talks about me being superstitious. So, uh, yep, uh, much cooler though. And since I lost my galaxy pack, now I have a cool galaxy hat, so. There you go. Also, because of the real geniuses that we are, today is the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. So yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a very busy trip to the Shenandoah, but hopefully still good. So gonna get hiking, Stitch and Hans are behind me, because now I'm the quick one of the group. Yeah. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh really hard when they catch me in five minutes. But for now, I'm in the lead. Look at this fun little view. That is a big town. Is that Waynesboro maybe? That would make sense. Ah, that's really cool though. I feel like whenever we get these little views, it's just like a mountain and a couple of houses, but that's an actual town. So that's fun. Pretty much been this all day. Up, down, up, down. I guess you could call it a gradual incline. Oh, I must be getting close to the park entry. Apparently, apparently I wasn't in it already. I don't actually know what's happening. I'm already confused and we just barely started. I don't know, it's a gr another Grayson Highlands incident where I think I'm, oh, the trail goes this way. Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging. JK, I was right, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Look at the two little lovebirds. Also, Stitch is taller than me, if that tells you how tall Hans is. Also, still trying to convince him to use the trail name Lilo for Lilo and Stitch. Uh, it's not working so far. We'll get there. One day. Or we'll come up with a better trail name. It's interesting. Right if you ice on him, just find him. Huh. All right. Uh, apparently we're closer to civilization than I thought. Those are fun. Also, yes, I'm in front. So they can talk, talk uh, trash about me in Dutch behind me, so. Oh wow, it's like a whole little, huh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> say, say that again. So much for a national park. Yeah, I mean, this is the most America thing I've seen in a while. Ooh, that's fun, the little seats. Yeah, yeah, and a little AT symbol, that's us. Headed that way. Um, we're hiking. Just kidding, it's not that bad today. Stitch is being nice and not making us go that far. Yay, power lines on the AT. All right. Hans' first power lines. Yay, I feel like it's like baby's first steps, like his first pair of power lines. And Stitch's thousand. Okay, yeah, they're cute. Okay, I can't, I gotta go. This is kind of fun in here. It just looks uh, different than what we've been seeing lately. So I think everything's fun, I guess. <laughs> Um, I just got so excited because there's porta potties and that's my life now, I guess. Also, for some reason, this is what I imagine Shenandoah looking like. So that's fun. And it's just so pretty in here. Oh, I love it. This is awesome. Even get a little tiny view. Nice. Made it to Beagle Gap. Pretty sweet. 
Oh my goodness, they have matching stitch snack bags. I can't, I can't handle it. <laughs> Made it to the top of Little Calf Mountain. It is beautiful it's up here. Pretty nice here. <laughs> Look at that little deer. Yeah. Nice. Hey guys, stitch hair. Not, don't worry too much, but um, I'm still here with my Lilo. But um, we have to say goodbye to Galaxy right now because uh, we were hiking just right behind her and uh, apparently I have the influence on her to actually fall and this one wasn't the best one where she wasn't able to catch herself so this is just a little pre-warning if you don't want to see the upcoming content just skip ahead like Galaxy will put in the screen how many seconds you have to skip ahead oh, I will okay uh, you're making more work for me Stitch okay. <laughs> <laughs> just if people are sensitive to right like people medical that look bad yeah, yeah. People okay. that look bad. You yeah. still look good looking. Thank you, Stitch. That was a good effort, Stitch, but let's be honest, the cut is on my face. So it doesn't actually look that bloody, but for the foreseeable future, it's just, it's on my face. So you're going to have to look at it. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so yes, and now here's the clip. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I look like. I don't know if you can see this little beauty here. So I'm gonna, luckily I called Stanimals and they're gonna come pick me up and take me to urgent care and get me stitched up. So now my brother and I are gonna have matching scars. So that's really fun. But you know, people get AT tattoos. I am gonna have an AT scar. So I'm just honestly really thankful that Stitch was there too. She just like jumped into action and like was like, hold it there. And she just like was great. So thank you, Stitch. <laughs> and shout out to my friend Inga who actually told me to bring these touching stitches yes thank you inga yep that thank you inga so yep gonna go to urgent care all right so it is much later it's actually like 7 15 at night i uh, went to urgent care good news i did not need stitches they just um stereo stripped it and glued it i don't know yep that's that's what it looks like and they said i can get back to hiking tomorrow so luckily stitch and ons are only seven miles in front of me and i feel like i can catch them but I've been chilling. I don't have a headache or anything. Like I feel fine. It just like is a little bit annoying, but yeah. So that was fun. There was just blood everywhere. It was a really great time. Like I said, thank goodness for Stitch. She like jumped into action and was able to help. So that was awesome. And she patched me up to get me. I had to walk 1.3 miles back down the mountain to the parking lot and Stanimals came and got me. So I'm staying another night here just cause I really didn't want to hike out with the painful eye. <laughs> So yes, that is the latest. I feel like Stanimals in Waynesboro is my new home. <laughs> no, headed back out to show tomorrow though. But yes, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't have to get off trail. Everything's fine. Nothing's broken. No concussion. I'm good. Just a little scary. So, yep. You're going to be looking at this beautiful thing for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Yay. Good morning from the Appalachian Trail. I am standing in the exact same spot that Stitch filmed me yesterday. I'm ready to go. Oh, I do not look good, <laughs> but I am going to hike out today. I got cleared by the doctor, so it's okay. I'm not like going against doctor's orders, but gonna honestly do as much as I can today. The ideal thing that would happen is I could pull a big enough day and catch Stitch and Hans because they're seven miles ahead of me, but we will see, but I'm gonna get hiking. It's 6.30 in the morning. Just got dropped off by the hostel. So I think I have time today, but I'm just gonna be careful <laughs> and try to not re-hurt myself. And so I'm doing the 1.3 miles back to where I got hurt and then I can go north. So gonna get moving. Also, it is a beautiful morning today. Not a deer sighting, but still really cool. All right, little guy or girl, bye. Just turned the corner and heard a noise and uh, yep, that's zoomed in. That is not zoomed in. And that's how close this deer is right now. Okay, goodbye. All right, made to the summit of Little Calf Mountain. Actually haven't been up here before ever. <laughs> Just kidding, this is time number three on the summit, <laughs> uh, but it's still beautiful. So no complaints for me. I mean, other than the busted eye, but no complaints for me for the view. That right there is the rock that I caught my foot on yesterday. And I'm gonna go around this rock cause there's blood on it still. And I think that's the rock I hit my eye on. Curse you rock. 
Yep, and my blood is still here too. So not that bad, but that's fun. <laughs> now I finally get to make positive progress on the AT because I've hiked that section now three times. <laughs> uh, all right, finally heading to new stuff. Let's do it. Love all the little yellow flowers. That's really pretty. All right, made it to the summit of Calf Mountain. Woohoo! Curse you, Calf Mountain, for hurting me. Just kidding. <laughs> it's my own fault. But uh, I think we in national parks just need to take a break from each other for a while. So, all right. Well, I'm going to keep hiking because I got a lot of miles to do to catch old Lilo and Stitch. Trail name, his trail name's not Lilo, but I think it should be. Today's episode of Power Lines on the AT is brought to you by Shenandoah National Park. That's beautiful, so that's fun. Also, I think I'm gonna get, get a good view, so I'm gonna keep hiking and then hopefully show you it if it's any good. Oh yes, all I had to do was walk five steps and that is an awesome view. It's so beautiful in here, so beautiful. All right, all right Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. Nice, headed that way also, right by the road. <laughs> This is the second sign that I've seen in half a mile, a mile. Uh, so at least people are well aware that, uh, you know, pack it in, pack it out. So that's good. <laughs> uh, yep, doesn't say hang gliders are prohibited, but I feel like they probably still are. Also, I love that I brought that up multiple times in my videos and then Hans, when we saw him yesterday, who he watches all the videos, you know, cause of Stitch. You know, and because I'm entertaining too, but like mostly because of Stitch. <laughs> um, he made a comment about how hang gliders weren't allowed. So that was kind of weird having someone reference my video to me. So that was fun. But yes, I'm gonna keep hiking. Ooh, look how pink these ones look. Whereas these ones over here, well, I guess they look pretty pink too. Usually they look white. Also, waiting for some rhododendron flowers. Come on, those are my favorite. All right, I am 6.7 in for the day and I'm getting blisters on both of my heels. <laughs> ah, this is my first time in the Olympus fives. I've had the Ultra Olympus fours. So, um, yeah, they hopefully were leukotaped before they got blisters while they were still hot spots, but they still hurt. So, yes, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't really have a choice but to keep going, so I'm going to do that. All right, the end. Warning, bears are active in this area. That is fabulous. Love that. Also, I feel like there's been more and more bears out lately, and this is no surprise. <laughs> but, uh, yep. All right. If you're ever curious what you do if there is a bear, not run. That's, that's the main thing. So, yep. Guess I'm going to be singing loudly. <laughs> Just kidding. But actually, I do need to make some noise. So, let's do it. All right. So, Stitch update. I know everyone's favorite side character. Um, <laughs> apparently, they're about four miles, if I had to guess, ahead of me. Um, I might be able to catch them for lunch. Probably not. Maybe if they take a long lunch, but yes, that is the update. And I'm just gonna see if I can move and get there as quickly as possible. And if I don't catch them, I don't catch them. But you know, good old Lilo and Stitch. I gotta really, really make sure that uh, Hans isn't the bad guy. So I'd like to catch them. And cause I miss my friend mostly. I guess friends, plural, if me and Hans are friends. I, I'll have to ask if me and Hans are friends. Maybe me and Stitch are friends for sure, but. I'll get back to you. So all these day hikers keep coming the other way <laughs> and they keep like looking at me and having a concerned look or looking at me and looking down. And I'm like, just a regular old through hiker. Like why, <laughs> why the look? And then I forget about this little gem. So fair enough, fair enough. Also update, um, the bl blister that I was worried I was getting, yeah, it was massive. <laughs> So thank you, Ultra, for changing whatever you changed to give me a blister. But, uh, you know, honestly, at this point, I've hiked almost 900 miles and I'm just used to my feet hurting. So I don't even really notice it anymore. <laughs> That's just kind of where I'm at. So uh, 
you know, it is what it is. I'm going to keep hiking and have lunch in like probably four-ish miles. Yeah, or sooner. <laughs> Who's to say? All right, going to keep hiking. All right, I'm going to be honest, haven't really filmed much <laughs> in a while. There's a lot of people around. I don't really love filming with lots of people around. Also, oh, I'm just in a lot of pain with my heels from these shoes. Not even my face. Just anytime I go even the slightest bit uphill pain so yeah haven't really been in the mood to film today but i am like two and a half miles from where we're planning on stopping i'm very tired and i'm ready to get there about 19 miles in so far so almost there oh man that is a sweet view just hiking along um also turns out uh stitch decided to keep going an extra mile and so i have an extra mile longer than i thought <laughs> but for now that's a sweet view it's always interesting to me, all these people, they get to like stop and enjoy the views and just sit there and take a long break. And I'm just like, I want to get to camp. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you hike really, really short days and don't hike a bunch of miles every day. So the beautiful picture for me will be Stitch holding my soda that she picked me up. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I mean, that view is pretty sick, but like, I got to go. Finally made it to camp, and look who I get to camp with. <laughs> hey, Shooter and Sunshine. Well, sh Shooter's not here. They're but, helping um, me. They're helping me with my terrible, terrible blister, singular, and then also my other regular blister. Um, Stitch and Hans are like point one off trail. I just saw talk to her, but uh, yeah, Shooter was a medic back in the day in the army, so he's helping me out. Thank you to Shooter, cause it's bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go eat and go to bed. So good night. Heard something in the woods. Look at this little guy. Hello. Okay, that's, I'm like right next to my tent. That's fun. Enjoy the leaves there, bud. All right, time for bed, I guess. Woo!